this is actually where the, they blew the whistle from here, which was operated off the steam. We, this is a solid of what actually the whistle sounded like. This is the backhead of the, the rotary cannonball. It is the exact system set up the way it was when it came out of the factory. Uh, you have the steam gauges, you have the gauges for the uh, stoker, which stokes the coal over into here. Uh, you have various air gauges. This is the water glass. It's a very rare piece of equipment and appliance. We had a core of the engine. We were lucky enough to find it and uh, install it in here. It is lit inside and it, it shows to the engineer, the fireman, and everybody up here the level of water. Welcome to the Rotary Cannonball. Uh, this is uh, really an outstanding exhibit and it's uh, you know, something that individuals can travel from all over to visit. What you're looking at is an old engine, the Evans St. L 457. It was built in 1912, the same year the Titanic sank. And uh, it was used on the, the uh, Evans St. L throughout the Middle West uh, for about, oh, probably 50 years. And then it was sold to the industry here in Mesa City when the diesels come in and replaced it. There was an individual by the name of Gene, Gene Green who was here when they originally put the engine in and he seen the sad state it was in. So he started a campaign to restore the engine. He started the restoration in 203, formed the organization Friends of the 457, dedicated to restoring the engine and preserving it. We also feel that this engine serves two purposes. One is to entertain, entertain, ring the bell, the kids uh, get on and have a great time. But the other is to educate too. And so outside of the fence here, we have three educational boards, one on the highway railroads, the other on the East Park, and the other on the orphan train, which very few people know about. This spot has become very popular in Mason City and it's uh, well worth visiting if you get an opportunity.